Hi everyone, just going to go through a, a new tutorial here and basically what I have is a photograph of some smoke and I want to turn it into that and it's pretty easy to do, it takes just but a moment and there's not many steps to it so basically obviously well you have to start out with a photograph of some smoke um, I'll upload this one so you can actually download this image and work on it but, um, if you're going to take your own, which obviously you are um, just use a very wide aperture, um, dark room flash on the camera um, put his, get the background as black as possible use cloth, cardboard, whatever whatever you can and um, basically photograph some smoke and uh, don't do what I did and nearly burn down the house so <laughs> make sure you have somebody there um, creating the smoke for you be it with a cigarette or an incense stick or just a piece of paper burning so um Again, this is the effect we're after, and now we'll proceed and actually do it. So we go over to our tools over here, and we're looking for this one. And we go in here and straight down to change the target. And how this tool works basically is the further away from black towards white you go, the more it actually affects the image. So if I try paint this red color straight on black, nothing happens. But if I try paint it onto the white area, it would it would actually come out. But if it was a grey area, it would be kind of half and half. So the further you go away from the black colour towards white, the more of an effect it has on the image. So with that in mind, that allows you to do things like this and not worry about painting onto the black. So as you can see, you just painted the smoke there. So because of that, we can just go around and basically just pick out parts of the image. We want the glow on green. Maybe do a bit in there. And then, more or less, every time you work on a new image, you come up with different color patterns. So, it's worth reworking the same image a couple of times just to see how it comes out each time. So, I'm just going to increase my brush size. I'm going to paint a lot of blue in here now. And decrease again. And small bit there. Yeah, just to let you know, actually, I have my brush hardness down to zero because I want very soft edges between the colors. Um, we'll pick another color. So we'll go with the red this time. We'll go up here, painting that. Um, that there. Um, maybe a bit here. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I'm going to change colour again. As you can see, there's nothing to this really, it's just a matter of just selecting the colour and painting. So I'm putting in the yellow here. Different colours give you know, a different life to the image. You don't have to paint everything in, I'm going to leave that part white for example. I'm going to change again to a different colour. Light blue. And a bit there. Maybe a bit out there, and a small bit here, and I'll leave it at that then. So that's the effect from start to finish. So it's only a matter of getting your image, come over here, selecting your change to target, and then just painting straight on your image. And um, well, that's pretty much it. Straightforward, easy to do. So I hope you find that useful.